I was like, what in the hell is this for? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to be disassembling my well house. It was probably built by my grandfather years and years and years ago. It was untreated lumber that he had laying around and he just put it flat on the dirt and uh, he piecemealed the studs and he just attached, uh, I guess it's called a cement board. The roof is starting to fail on it. It's just, and it's starting to tilt and it's just falling apart because it's rotting. The noise you hear in the background is my best friend, Tony. He is trying to remove a pump that someone had just put under the house and built that addition that I'm working on, which that will be coming back up soon. You need some help? No. Just catch the door for me. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Holy crap. See, somebody just built that addition that I'm working on right over this thing. Cast iron. Is it? Toby, come on, this way. He's my daddy. Oh, oh. What kind of pump is that? Ooh. Well pump? Full pump, well pump. Mm. Look at all that copper in there. It's just been sitting underneath the house for probably 30, 40 years. I think must weigh 80 pounds. Really? What does that say? Denmark? What does that say? Denning. Denning? Huh. You need to skip on the iron. That's the old American steel there. Yeah. Mm. Here's your air bleed to prime your pump mm -hmm. housing get the air out you're all right you're gonna have to please excuse all the noise from the street it is sunday so it shouldn't be so bad but this is the well house and as you can see it's a leaner and tony came over to help me at least get the roof off because it's heavy the roof is kind of heavy so I didn't want it to fall and possibly break some of this PVC, but as you can see, it leaks over there. Um, and you see Papa just used studs, uh, boards and stuff and just piecemealed them together. It's rotting at the bottom it, because it's sitting straight on the ground. This should be all concrete. Where you see dirt should be concrete. I got an armadillo digging a hole back here. Um, and I'm just gonna rebuild this. I thought I was gonna reuse the concrete or the cement board, but I don't know if that's what I wanna do. I want it taller so that when I have somebody has to work on it, that you can actually stand up. And this is not even connected. I don't even know why this is here. So I'm gonna put an outlet, a better outlet in. I'm gonna put a pigtail in, and then I'm gonna put a, an outlet out here, commercial grade outdoor outlet for the heat lamp. This is gonna get new, um, a new spigot, but Papa used what he had. And we'll walk in here a little bit further. Boy, it's hot in here. Yeah, you can see where that armadillo's been digging. And he piecemealed right there. We got a, a lovely ant bed, that's gonna be fun. And that's the pump. And you can see it's falling apart over here. This is what I'm dealing with, a bunch of black widow spider eggs. This is the outside of it. And you can see the roof is failing. It's going to be hot today because those bugs are making that noise. Here's the back side. 
and this is where that armadillo was getting in. I filled it up with some dirt. He has since moved on and found another location to live. So let me get you guys on the tripod. Okay, I've got my flags and I've got my divining rods. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go down from the house over to the well pump house. I'm gonna try to find the angle of where the uh, pipe is coming out of here. I don't know if it's going this way and then teeing off. I have no idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk until the lines cross, or the rods cross. Hang on. So if the rods are open, which they're probably gonna be kind of crazy right here by the well house, but when they're open like that, there's no pipe. And when they close, which I'll ask them to close, 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 close. Okay, when they close like this or I have to hold them. If they're like this, that's where the pipe is. The pipe will be running parallel to this. So that way I'll know exactly where that pipe is. Blue tire. We used to be out in the woods, you had to find water line. Back in those days, you didn't have to find water line. Yeah, it's crossing on him, he doesn't even know what he's doing. You gotta hold him straight out. Oh, hold him out. Hold him out like this. Long as he's out in front of you. Yeah. Hold him out, just keep straight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry.
let's take a look, see what's going on. You okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a little, something just scratched me. All right. So. I used to. <laughs> All right. thing is to get this broke down and get it in that dump trailer. I can do that. So this is what we're looking at right here. You can tell that Papa just used scrap wood to put this together, but you know, it's lasted all these years. We were worried that this was asbestos board, but I went online and it is a hardy cement board because of the grain on it, that wood, wood look. So we had to stop to make sure. It's, it got termite damage. No, no I just probably on saw I don't really care, just do whatever they want. Check them boots out. Let That's me see sweet. those spurs, man. That's some awesome stuff. <laughs> I like that. Hey, There's nothing to be reused here, so it's going to be all new wood. So yeah, let's get this rest of this taken down, down and I'll get back with it. I'm back and as you can see what turned into a simple tear down the well house shed and pour a slab around it and build a new one turned into a major major undertaking so Tony me and a friend of ours dug this much we all were in out of steam so I had to hire backup <laughs> And I won't put him on YouTube. I'll let you see his legs, but but what happened is is that this is cast iron down here. 
old cast iron and it is rusted and it's leaking so I don't know why they put it so far down when we don't have a frost line other than the fact that they were trying to get it under the under the house or whatnot I'm not really sure I've never seen it in the south like this so let me take you over here and it's about 60 feet so let me take you over here and show you what else is going on we're just gonna suspend everything and build the slab and then put everything back we might as well we might as well replumb it blah 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 until we saw all this and all the rust we don't know all that was completely submerged we don't know what's going on and then when we saw this right here it was on Okay, we thought we were going to have to go under the house to connect in to the water to the house, but we got very, very blessed on this deal. I'm going in. Okay, let me get down here. All right, now there's some pipes. All this had to be rerouted for the uh, water system. And wow, there's a couple of sticks. Now I'm telling you, what have I got? All right, let me get down here. Oh. See, I put all this vapor barrier down here. Oh, check my. See what I got. Alright, I don't see any exposed wire. I knew it! There it is down there. Get my flat ass over here. Alright. It's nice and cool and down here. Looks like they charred the wood down here. To keep the termites out. And there it is. There it is. Let me zoom you in. And there it is. Right on the corner of that house. I knew my divining rod was right. Yeah, it looks like they charred the wood under the house to keep it from getting termites. Just make sure there's no hazards down here for me to get into. That's old pipe, old copper pipe. That's to the, that pipe right there is to the faucet outside. My battery's about to die. Hey, Tony, hand me another battery, please. Okay, I got a fresh battery. Sorry about that. So let me inch over here. Let me back this out. I don't know if they burned that wood or if they painted it because it looks like there's a paint blotch that may be tar. I don't know. It may be tar. I don't know. But they treated it somehow. So let me back you out and climb in. I'm going to check for any exposed wires, make sure I don't get electrocuted. Okay. All right, that line right there goes out to the spigot. Let me double check my area. I don't see any hazards or anything. All right. Okay, it 
Um, let me check my. All right, this wire right here, this one right here that I'm not going to touch, comes right out. Yeah, this sucker right here. Or this one. That comes out of that uh, meter on the outside of the house. All right. Damn, my shirt's pulling on the back of my neck. Okay. All right. So there it is. And this is the corner that faces east. That's the east wall. This is north. No, I'm sorry. This is south. So that's east and that's south. And there's that pipe. It's right there. And it is copper, I want to say. Yeah, that's copper. And there's the back of the house. There's the bathroom. Yeah, there's a stick down here. So, I know it. <laughs> Thank you. Almost. I know. Almost. Let me get this stick. He's. I got an elbow. Hang on. Stop. I got an elbow down here. I got a stick. That's a PVC pipe. Yeah, I know. So hand it here. Let me get this. There's a, an elbow right here. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Good. Just quit, please. I get it. Hang on a second. My hand's cramping on me. There we go. All right, let me get this stick right here. I mean, this elbow. All right. So, let me get my, okay, let me take some video of this down here, because I haven't been under here since all this was dug in. Okay, so now I see what you're talking about, that big open end down there. They cut the whole damn back of the house out. Yeah, all this is uncovered. I got to get that covered back up. That's the whole reason for having daggum moisture barrier. Okay, I see where they joined those two, uh, where they got the new gas line hooked in underneath the furnace. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in. Oh, okay. So now I see all that's the new gas line. And that's the gas line back there. The yellow that's running this way, that's electrical. What's running back there, that's the gas. That feeds the water heater back there. Okay. I got to get this uh, membrane fixed because it's not even covering the ground. This vapor barrier. All right, I'm coming out. Oh, there's another pipe down here. There's another pipe down here. Ugh. I was like, what in the hell? Is this for? You know? That's a two inch, man. Two and a half, two yeah. inch. I mean, it's, what in the hell is it doing back here? All right. Oh wow, this is torn. I'm gonna have to fix it. I don't even know. I'm watching my head. I gotta get him. Uh, right in the mouth. Right in the kisser. All right. <laughs> you have to edit that out. Uh. 
Wait, I got it fixed. Okay. All right, now do you see what he did? Yeah, he had to run pipe from the well all the way down to that thing and then back up to tap into the line that feeds the whole house. Right. He had to double back on the so water that's pipe. That's why it cost me about $700. That was the only way to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to get down here. See, this is supposed to be run up. So, this fall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down under here and I'm going to staple the vapor berry to the underside of this. And I'll probably just go ahead and put insulation mm -hmm. underneath. All right, let me get out of here. So, at least I found some pipe. Well, right. <laughs> I'll show you exactly where the um, the water source is coming out of here. So, it's right here. But here's the trench that was dug. And this is what the pipe looked like. So when he pulled it out of the ground and threw it, it just shattered all that crust and everything. So that's what the pipe looked like. There's Captain Happy Pants. And we were very, very blessed that This pipe at this right there, that connection. Let me watch the dog. He's out back. Where is it? There it is. That connection right there. That was from that cast iron to copper. So this connection goes to the house next door, which is one of our rental properties. And, uh, so the slab is going to be poured here. We've got this suspended in the air so we can do the slab. That uh, concrete is going to, uh, block is going to come up. And we're going to pour all the way out to this area. And um, that's it so far. Isn't that right, Toby? Meh.